In today's video, I'll show you how you can start streaming on YouTube. It is a bit different than Twitch and other platforms. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. As I mentioned, YouTube streaming is a bit different than Twitch and other platforms where you simply just go live and that's it. On YouTube, you actually have to schedule a stream and set up all the different settings in the YouTube dashboard itself. So without further ado, let's actually go into it. The first thing you'll need to do is go to your YouTube studio and then go into content and then simply just click on live right here. You'll see this page. Make sure to also go ahead and verify your profile in order for you to even get to this page. You'll just have to verify your profile. It might take 24 to 48 hours to actually get approved. You simply need to put, I think, your phone number and then you will be set. Once that's done, you click on get started over here and then it will say welcome to the new YouTube live control room. And here is where you choose. Do you want to schedule the stream or do you want to go live right now? Usually people schedule the streams and then they go live. So I'll just choose a later date right here. Click on that and then it says what stream do you want to do? Do you want to do a built in webcam or do you actually have a streaming software? We're going to choose streaming software. We're going to do everything in OBS as that's way easier than just, you know, going live through a phone or something like that. If you do want to go live through your phone or just like a webcam, you can just click on built in webcam right here. But we're going to choose uh, streaming software. We click on that and now you can see schedule your stream on the side and that's totally fine. So what this is, is our live streaming dashboard. So we click on schedule stream first and then over here you can see a bunch of different things. So first thing, it actually copies the description if you have a template for the YouTube videos itself. So that's fine. If you want to change that, you can simply change that. You need to actually set up a title description and then when and how you want to go live. Like like I said before, you want to go live through the streaming software, which is OBS, or you can go live through webcam or mobile as well. You choose the category, you choose the thumbnail, the playlist, everything like a YouTube video. That's why it's a bit more complicated than just Twitch or Kick or any other platform like that. So for the title, I'll just do test stream. And then for the thumbnail, you can set up the thumbnail like for a YouTube video, or you can just have it like auto screenshot like it does on Twitch and just shows what's going on on the stream itself like that if you want. That's fine. So we click on next and then monetization. You can also monetize your streams if you have monetization enabled. So click on OK, uh, done. That's fine. And then you can also uh, let YouTube insert mid rolls. And you can also choose how the mid rolls appear. So we want to choose balance so it's not too many ads. And we click on next. Over here, you can go ahead and customize some different like settings. You have live chat. Do you want to have the live chat replay? Uh, participant modes. So basically, who can actually send the messages? Can everyone send the messages or only subscribers, only members, whatever? Usually, you want to go anyone. That way, obviously, everyone can actually send the messages enable live reactions as well. And then you have message delay if you want to have a slow mode, which is something that you should enable if you're getting botted. But usually you should have this turned off. Redirect and trailer. You can add these if you really want for like a trailer before the stream even starts. Usually people don't really do this. So we're just going to click on next. And now you choose the visibility of your stream. Do you want to go public? Do you want to make it so it's members only or do you want to make it just private so you test it out for yourself to see if it actually works i'm going to do a private stream because i actually want to test it out if you want to go public then you obviously choose public also schedule what time and date do you want to start the stream itself i'll just put 6 p.m as it's currently 5 30 that's fine click done and now our stream is scheduled so we wait until it's all verified and now we have this weird dashboard, very complicated dashboard, but it's actually super easy and simple to set up. So we we can actually pop out the stream dashboard like the YouTube uh, tells us to. So we just simply click on this uh, button right here and then it pops it out. We can then put it inside OBS or wherever else. That's totally fine. And now we have the title, we have the category, we have everything set up. What you can do right here is you can simply go ahead and click on the stream key. So it says default stream key. That's fine. Make sure it is set up to default stream key. This is your stream key right here and then all the URLs and everything else. Keep in mind that we can actually connect our YouTube account to OBS if you have a newer version of OBS. So you don't need to copy or paste or do anything with these URLs and stream keys and everything else like you used to back in the past. 
So for the latency, usually I recommend ultra low latency or low latency. That way you have like a real time chat experience when you're streaming. If you don't have a good internet, then go ahead and choose normal latency. Just keep in mind that if you choose ultra low latency, it does not actually support closed captions and 2K and 4K resolutions. So that way, if you want to stream in 2K or above, you will need to choose low latency and not ultra low latency. So we choose low, uh, low latency over here. And then we also want to enable auto start, which is something that is not on by default. And it's very annoying. But this is the most important thing. If you enable auto start and auto stop, uh, whenever you actually click go live in OBS, it will go live on YouTube. Before, you would have to click uh, live on the dashboard and then go live on OBS. And same for ending the stream. You would have to click stop the stream and then stop the stream in OBS, which is super dumb and it makes no sense. Here, if you enable this, as soon as you go live on OBS, you would go live on YouTube, just like you do on Twitch. Same thing as when you end the stream itself. A lot of people end the stream in OBS, but they don't actually end it on YouTube and then it just goes on for hours as a black screen. So make sure to enable these two. These are the most important. And then everything else is optional if you want to enable uh, closed captions or you want to enable some delay if you're streaming a tournament. But everything else is fine as it is. Now let's go into OBS and let's actually connect our account. So now that we have our OBS or Streamlabs OBS open, it's basically the same thing. You go into settings over here. And now once you're in the settings, you go into stream. And then as a service, you don't choose Twitch, but you choose YouTube, obviously. So you choose YouTube. And then you choose the primary YouTube ingest server because it has like multiple. You just simply want to choose the primary one and then click on connect account and connect your account. Like I said, this new version of OBS does not need to have like the stream keys and links and all of that. Just simply connect the account like you do for Twitch and it's all automatic. Now that I've authorized my account, you can see connected account agent. So I am officially connected and you can see the different bit rates when you're streaming to YouTube. So YouTube streaming bit rate is actually way higher than Twitch. Twitch has 8,000 max bit rate. On YouTube, you can go as much as 51K or I think even more than that if you enable the ignore streaming services. Uh, you can go live as much 4K. The quality is also going to be crisp and perfect. It's going to be so much better. That's the one reason why people choose YouTube over something like Twitch. On screen, you can see YouTube's recommended bit rate for specific resolutions and FPS. So depending if you're streaming in 2K, 4K, 1080p, you can see what YouTube recommends in bit rate. Regarding the OBS streaming settings, I won't really go into the best settings right now as I already have a video about that on my channel. Overall, the settings are pretty much the same as in the other video. The only thing you would change is the bit rate because YouTube obviously recommends and allows you to go on a higher bit rate, but everything else is the same. And that's how you can set up YouTube for live streaming. So if you click on apply, you would get the YouTube live control panel and the chat. So you can simply just dock it onto the side. This as well, you can just dock wherever you want. But now you have another button on your OBS. So let me just simply just close these. And now you have manage broadcast over here. If you click manage broadcast, it's actually going to open up your scheduled broadcast that you set up in YouTube Studio. So we click on not create new broadcast. We click on select existing broadcast and then see over here you have test stream. This is what I did in the previous step. Simply choose this, click on select broadcast and you can also click start streaming instantly. But I just want to select the broadcast. It's going to create it and now it is toggled on. It is enabled. And now if I click start streaming, I will actually go live on YouTube for everyone else. So that's how you can start streaming. It's super easy once you understand everything and once you change some settings. But at the beginning, it might be a bit, you know, confusing and just simply a lot of different things that you need to take care of. And that's basically it. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see my other OBS guides and the best streaming settings, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.